when we want to find the equation of a line, we want to find the Cartesian equation of a line. It means any equation that has two variables, x and y, and it would be a picture, like shown here. So this is, a, this is the picture of a line. In order to understand how to find the equation of a line, we need to understand the concept of gradient or slope. So here is how we find a gradient. The gradient of a line is equal to the change of the y-axis, change of y, divided by the change of x. That means, how much does it rise or fall? We can call this rise if it goes up or fall if it goes down compared to how much is it running, meaning going forward. So that's another informal definition of gradient, rise over run or fall over run. Now let's take a look at the picture over here. We can find a gradient uh, by comparing any two points. Let me take this uh, blue line over here first of all. So you can see if we take this point, this point, and we take another point over here, this one. So let's compare. We can see that it is running forward by 2 unit. So it is running forward by 2 units. So this is the change in x. And it is rising by 2 unit. 1, 2. So it is 2 by 2. So the gradient or slope usually given by the letter m for this line is 1. Meaning it is changing 1 unit of the y-axis compared to 1 unit on the x-axis. Now let's take a look at the red line over here. So we can again take any two points. Let me take this one and this one. So we can see it is running forward one unit of x and it is rising by two unit of y. That means two divided by one. So the slope or gradient of the line is two. Finally, we have a green line over here. So if I take this point and this point, we can see that it is running one unit, but it is falling this time. It is falling by one, two, three unit. That means the gradient is minus three. We write the minus to denote that it is falling, it is decreasing, and x is increasing by one unit. That means the gradient is minus three. So let's uh, write down the formal definition. So the formal definition could be the gradient m of a line is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That means if we have a line passing through two points, one point has x coordinate x1 and y coordinate y1, and the other point has x coordinate x2 and y coordinate y2. In that case, you can find the gradient. Let's do a number of examples. The first example is two points are given 4, 2 and 6, 3 and we have to find the gradient. So gradient equals to change of y. So this y is 3 and this one is uh, 2. So 3 minus 2 that is the change of y and the change of x. Remember you have to take the value of x that you took uh, in case of y. So here we took 3 at first, so we have to take 6 here at first, and 6 minus 4, so that would make it 1 divided by 2. So the gradient is half, meaning for every 1 unit, for every 2 unit of x, y would increase by only 1 unit. It would look something like this. Question number B. So we have uh, 2 points, so here it would be the y is 4 minus the other y is 3. We have to take the x here, 5, minus, now this is already minus, so it would be minus of minus 1. So this would be 1 divided by 6, 5 minus minus 1 is 6. Question number C. So here uh, we have y2 is going to be 2, minus y1 is going to be 5, divided by x2 is going to be 1, minus, this is minus 4. So the gradient would be, 2 minus 5 is minus 3. 1 minus minus 4 is 5. Minus 3 by 5 is the gradient. 
question number D over here. So change of y is going to be. Now I want to tell you one thing. It doesn't really matter which value of y you take first, as long as you take the corresponding value of x. So let me take this value first, minus three. It doesn't matter. So minus three. Now I'm taking this minus five divided by two. Now I have to take two first minus six. It turns out to be minus eight divided by minus four, which is going to be two. Now if I had taken the other way around, the gradient would be the same. So if I take 5 minus minus 3, because it is negative, 6 minus 2, it would be 8 divided by 4, which is also 2. So it doesn't really matter how you take the gradient. So one way of finding the equation of a line uh, is to write down the equation in the format of the slope-intercept form, which means if you know the slope or gradient of the curve, and you also know where the curve cuts the y-axis. Suppose it cuts at a point where the value of x is 0. That means at the y-axis x equal to 0. And the value of y is c, meaning it cuts the y-axis at the point c. Then the equation of that line is going to be y equals to the gradient of the line x plus the y-intercept, meaning where does the line cut the y-axis of that particular line, and that's all. So let me uh, show you graphically uh, how it works. So you can see that uh, we have a line, and the equation of the line is y equals to x plus 2, and it is cutting the y-axis, or the y-intercept is 2. Now, if I have another line, this uh, red line over here, you will see that it has the same y-intercept, meaning y equals to something mx plus 2, but the gradient is higher, it is steeper. And if we yet take another line, you will see it has the same y-intercept, but the gradients, they are different. So y equals to, this one is, gradient is 1, because it is y equals to 1x plus 2. Here the gradient is 2, y equals to 2x plus 2. And here the gradient is uh, 3, y equals to 3x plus 2. Now, on the other hand, what would happen if the intercepts were different but the gradient would be the same? In that case, take a look. This is y equals to x plus 2. This is y equals to x plus 3. And this is y equals to x plus 1. That means they're cutting the y-axis at different intercepts but the gradient is the same. And that takes us to the important concept of two pairs of lines. Two pairs of line that has the same gradient, they are known as parallel lines. So special rule for gradient, parallel lines. So if two lines are parallel, that means they have the same gradient. So if this gradient is m1 and this gradient is m2, then m1 would be equal to m2. Two lines that have the same gradient, that means they are parallel. In case of perpendicular, the relationship is a bit different. It means two lines, if this line has gradient m, the other line that is perpendicular, also known as normal, let me write this down, normal line. So that would be the negative reciprocal of the other line. That means if one is m1, the other would be negative reciprocal. That's the relationship. It means if one has a gradient of 2, in case of parallel line, the other line would also be 2. But in case of perpendicular line, the other one would be minus 1 by 2. So that is the idea of pairs of lines that are parallel lines or perpendicular lines, also known as normal lines. Let's do a number of examples. The first examples, work out the gradients of these lines, work out the value of c in each case. This is pretty straightforward. So y equals to mx plus c is the form we are talking about. So here the gradient is minus 2 and the y-intercept is 5. Here the gradient is minus 1, coefficient of x, and the y-intercept is 7. Uh, since y-intercept has x coordinate 0, so if you have to write down the point of the y-intercept, that would be 0, 7. Here it would be 0, 5. So the next one, the y-intercept is 4, meaning the coordinate is 0, 4, and the gradient is 3. And finally, this one is a bit different because it's not arranged in the format of y equals mx plus c. That means we might have to rearrange it before we can actually say anything about the gradient and the y-intercept. So it would be, if I take the uh, equation as it is, 
and I send everything to the other side. So minus 4y equals to minus twice x minus 5. Multiply both sides with minus. That would be 4y equals to twice x plus 5. Now divide both sides with 4. It would be y equals to twice x plus 5 divided by 4. So it would be twice x by 4 plus 5 by 4. So the gradient would be 2 by 4, meaning half. And the y intercept would be uh, c equals to 5 by 4. So the point would be 0, 5 by 4. So remember, if it's not in that format, you have to rearrange it in that form. Now, here we have pairs of lines. They're either parallel or perpendicular. We have to say which one is which. So we know if they're parallel, the gradient would be exactly the same. So let's look for that first. So these are not same. This is 2 by 3, 2 by 3. So this is parallel. Uh, then we have 3 by 5. This is not parallel. This is 5 by 7 gradient. And this is also 5 by 7. So these two are also parallel. Now we have to find out if which are perpendicular. Well, perpendicular means negative reciprocal. So the negative reciprocal of a number is 1 by that and negative. So this is 4. So the negative reciprocal would be 1 by 4 negative. So this is perpendicular. These two lines are perpendicular. So this is 1 by 5. So the negative reciprocal would be 1 by 1 by 5, which is 5, and negative. So this is not negative. So these are not perpendicular. So here this is minus 3. So the negative reciprocal is minus 3 is 1 by th minus 3 and negative of that, which is 1 by 3. So these are perpendicular. Now this is 3 by 5. So the reciprocal of 3 by 5 is 1 by 3 by 5, which is 5 by 3 and negative. So these are perpendicular lines. Now the uh, equation of the line. So we have to find the equation of a line and we know the gradient and we know y intercept 0c. So the equation of the line is going to be y equals to m, m is 2, x plus c. c is the y intercept so here it is 5. The next example uh, gradient is 3, y equals to mx which is trisex plus c, c is the y intercept which is 1. 